This is a different kind of video today. We're actually going to give some heat to the company Kabam that makes King Arthur Legends Rise. And I just want to say that I am severely disappointed in the company. Say you come home and your little puppy dog has torn up your favorite pair of shoes. You're not going to give up on him. You're still going to love him. And that's where I am with the game right now and its current state because we gave so much feedback in the previous beta that this should not be happening right now. And if you don't know, over the weekend, we found out that people were taking the second gear set and slotting in gear into that second gear set and it's affecting the main gear set. So you can double up on your stats, you can double up on everything. And we told them about this in the last beta back in April. We told them about a lot of things and they're still not fixed in the game. There's so much in here from Discord, you're looking at it right now, that we talked to them about, say, something like this, where we're not getting our clan rewards. Right now, you can't come in here and claim your clan rewards. Even now, right? Over here on this boss, if you do decrease defense on this boss or just decrease defense in the game, it doesn't increase the amount of damage you're doing to the enemies. Toward the end of the previous beta, we told them about this. We said, hey, are we supposed to be able to put gear sets in our second slot of the gear set and then we just keep the number one activated and we get benefits from all of the gear sets? because it would be really cool. It'd be very different than any other turn-based game I played before. We could put an additional Vigor Ring on that second gear slot. We could put a Vigor Set on that second gear slot. You could put crit rate critical damage. Even the main stats of like HP percentage, whatever it is, is going to affect your hero. It's gonna give you more damage, more HP, more crit rate. Even the sub stats with plus to speed is gonna make your hero faster. If you, if you wanna test it out, just go ahead and put a Vigor Ring and see how much vigor you get per turn when you take a turn. Look at my guys right now. They're going to get pretty increased, crazy amounts of vigor increased, and they're going to hit really, really hard. I want them to come out and say that this is okay, because I think it's a really cool part of the game. I think the game right now for us in early access is way overblown as far as difficulty, so we kind of need this, and people have been doing this since day one. And I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't come out with this and tell all of us about this. Very disappointed because they're able to get high ranks in arena where they shouldn't be. They're able to beat our clan and the clan battles. I'm clan Avalon is my clan. We have a whole bunch of whales. I've spent a lot of money on the game. I know the game really well. We talk about strategy in the discord. So we do particularly well in there and we were in second place without doing this at all. I just want everybody to know about it. I want the company to do something about it. And it's not just that. We've got guys like Jack. He's an uncommon that should take off all abnormal status effects when it lands on your allies. I leveled up his passive because that's what it says he'll do. So I took him into the frost bear hoping he would remove the freeze that the frost bear does. Doesn't remove it at all. I took him into Gorgos to see if he would take off the stun doesn't remove it at all. We've got lots of heroes like that. Even this one, Gillian, right now, you can see that she's Frost. There's a report about her not healing people properly in here from back then. I don't think I have it up right now. Yeah, I'm not following that exact thread, but there's a report in here from back in April saying that she's not healing properly, and she's still not healing properly. She's not doing a 30% to heal everyone. She does this like random kind of heal. It's still good, it's still really good for her Frost set to do a massive amount of healing, but it's not doing what it should be, and we've reported this. The second part to this is their Discord is terrible. I've never been with a company before that has such a bad run Discord. Even if it's a smaller company, the larger ones always have amazing discords because they always have a full-time person. Even the smaller ones have a full-time community manager with a team. And if you're thinking, hey, Stu, this is Kabam. They've got it down. Don't worry. This is a different department. Like, you're not thinking, like, if this is Contest of Champions, it's not. It's not even probably in the same part of the world. Not even in the same office run by totally different people. And I know they're going to get their discord in shape, I hope. But you do it now. You don't wait till December if that's their their like placeholder for when they want to launch the game. And I know they want to bring it out sooner than that. So you get this done now because they're not obviously looking at anything that we've been putting in Discord. They're not taking care of their game and getting their game ready to go because they took their game down from the second beta and then all this time has passed and you would think the game would come out and those issues would be taken care of easily, right? Because they were already posted months and months and months ago. They took the game down from that beta. Now we get this early access. And this is early access. This isn't even, it's a beta early access, sure. But we shouldn't be having issues come up like this. We should be having new issues come up to bring to them and say, hey, let's get ready for global. These are some issues that we have with story mode, progression, and, and all that kind of stuff, right? Also to let you know that the game isn't 
ready. I mean, the game, the game that we're playing actually isn't the full game. So don't feel bad if it's very, very difficult right now. Don't feel bad if you only see five star gear and there's no six star gear in the game. There's not. Because once Global Launch comes out, they're going to include more dungeons. We'll have six-star gear to farm then. And I think five-star gear will start dropping way more easier, especially in the gear dungeons than it is right now. Because right now, it's miserable. The percentage rate to drop a five-star is so low. You farm hell forever and ever. I've spent over a 1,000 stamina to farm hell mode. Very rarely ever see five-star. I've actually spent 500 to 800 stamina farming stage eight of the dragon. To see what could what could drop right for people to progress because you don't just shoot up to 10 with four star gear there's a progression to all these games five star gear is not dropping these are the things that we'd bring up to them and talk to them about and probably uh, more than likely 100 percent it's going to be taken care of at global launch with the introduction of everything because they're kind of they're slow playing us right now right this is early access they're not expecting us to shoot up do everything right away but back on track with being disappointed I am severely disappointed that people are doing this in the game first off. If we're not supposed to be doing it in the game, it's not their fault. This should have been taken out a long time ago when we reported it to them. All the other bugs that we had in there should have at least been tried to be fixed already, even if they are still not 100% perfect. But we've seen no indication that they've gone in and tried to fix any of this. None of it at all, which is worrisome to me, especially with the way the Discord is run. Again, all companies always have a full-time community manager. It's somebody that sits in the office, the same office complex as the devs, not next to them necessarily, but you know, in the same building as they do. And they run a full, that's their full-time job to take care of the discord, to take care of the content creators, to get them any kind of materials that the content creators need, like high res pictures and, and run the discord and get people in there to moderate the discords. We don't have any of that or anybody in there trying to do anything right now. And you, all these other companies, I'm telling you, they have this done way ahead of time, way before global launch, because they want to make sure that they keep people interested in the game. And a lot of times you think that's a small percentage of the population that play the game. And it usually is. It's usually a very small percentage of the people who play games, who actually get on Discord, who go to YouTube, who get on Twitter and follow Reddit. Used to be. Nowadays, though, everybody is connected. Everybody gets logged in. Global launch, people get involved. That's how they play these games now. That's why my Discord is, is just popping with so many people in there talking about this game and having fun with the game because it's much more enjoyable to play with a whole lot of people and to talk about the game as you play it. So again, I'm just really disappointed. I wanted to get it out there to let you guys know what's going on with the game. If you're getting beat in arena and you're not putting a whole bunch of gear in your second gear slot, that's why if you're a mega whale, like a lot of people in my clan and they didn't understand what was going on, like how could these other people be beating me? What is happening? This is what's happening. They've been doing it since day one. I just found out about it this weekend with a whole bunch of other people in their main discord. We've been talking about it a lot. We've been trying out different strategies with gear in that second slot to see what would work, what wouldn't work. And I need to bring it out to you all because we need to first get confirmation from the company. Is this how we're going to run the game? If it is, that's cool. I think it's going to bake lots of interesting combinations for gear. It's going to be much more fun to play. It's like having 12 slots instead of the six you have, you have 12 slots. Obviously it doesn't seem like that's their intention since we don't have 12 slots. We have a, a slot one with six and a slot two with six. So we see that it's separated to where you could have two different gear sets and you could switch between the two. If you have one built for PVP, maybe one built for PVE. I'm glad they have it in the game, but we get a second gear slot at level 40. So people have been doing this since level 40 and you all need to know about it. And we need to know what's going on with this company. When are they going to do what they're supposed to do and start taking care of all these issues on discord from long, long ago. And when are they going to start taking care of their discord as well? The issues are way more important than discord. I understand that. But to me, it all reflects that things aren't being taken care of. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for all the rants. We're going to have much better, more lively videos in the future starting tomorrow. So stay tuned. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys all in a video soon.